Wem, bem, test like him. I hope you're satisfied. The next video shows a severe traffic collision. Viewer discretion is advised. This submitter was driving his Model 3 late one night on a freeway in Los Angeles, California. This was the day after he saw our video titled The Worst Drivers in the World, in which we revealed that Dodge drivers were voted the second worst drivers in the world in a poll we ran. He couldn't have imagined what would happen next. The submitter was overtaking slower moving cars that were causing traffic. As he puts it, there was no reason for all this traffic so late at night. One of the cars he overtook was a Dodge Challenger, whose driver didn't like this and decided to speed up and try to catch up with them. As their speeds got higher, the Dodge driver tried to overtake the Tesla on the right when this happened. The Dodge rear-ended another car at very high speed and they both ended up smashing into the concrete barrier. On the rear view camera, we can see that the Tesla and the Dodge both passed this SUV on either side, and the collision happened when they both tried to merge in front of it. The submitter says he noticed that the Dodge disappeared from his mirror, but it was only once he got home that he learned the true magnitude of the crash. We haven't found any news related to the accident, but we hope everyone's okay. We can't tell their exact speed from the footage, but we're sure this accident could have been avoided at a lower speed. Please be careful out there. Craig was driving his Model 3 in Mesa, Arizona. When he merged onto the highway, traffic in front of him slowed down to both enter and exit the highway. That's when this Ford F-150 rear-ended the Ford Fusion in front of him, coming to a complete stop on the highway. Craig was able to stop in time, but there was no chance for the car behind him to do the same. This caused him to get hit by two cars almost at the same time, one of which didn't even have time to hit the brakes. He was at a complete stop when the young driver behind him hit him at 65 miles per hour. Police arrived at the scene minutes after the accident and fortunately everyone was okay. Both of the cars that hit Craig ended up being towed away but he was able to drive his Model 3 home. The day after the accident, he headed to the shop and got a repair estimate of 9,000 US dollars. The Tesla's been in the shop for three weeks now and it could be there for another six weeks depending on when they get the parts from Tesla. Craig says he couldn't be happier with how well his Tesla did in the crash. In fact, some of his friends have ordered their own Teslas after he showed them this video. Peter was driving his Model S in Citrus Heights, California. An impatient Subaru driver had just merged in behind him close to his rear bumper before this red light. After the light turned green, a white Toyota Corolla merged in front of the Subaru all the way from the leftmost to the rightmost lane, passing Peter on the right. That's when the Subaru driver took off after him. They both passed Peter on the right, then the Toyota swung back over to the leftmost lane. Then the Subaru managed to squeeze himself in front of the Toyota. They danced a little between the lanes before coming to a complete stop alongside each other at the next red light. The Subaru passenger yelled at the Toyota driver through an open window, finishing up by spitting at the Toyota. After the window went up, Peter thought the battle of the Japanese cars was finally over. However, the Subaru driver rolled down his window yet again. Apparently, he forgot to scream one last insult at the Toyota driver. Given that the Toyota driver never joined in the screaming contest, we're betting he must have thought this was the longest red light he'd ever been stuck at. The light finally turned green and the Subaru sped away. Moments later, however, we can see that he actually waited for the Toyota up ahead on the side of the road. He sped up alongside the Toyota again and they both continued driving along until the next red light. As soon as they came to a complete stop, the Subaru driver jumped out of his car and walked over to the Toyota driver to exchange what we can only assume were some friendly words. That said, it looks like he remembered the current pandemic situation and at least he maintained some social distancing while road raging. 
he drew a quick finger gun before spitting on the car again, topping it off with his best Karate Kid move on the bumper. Quentin was at a party in a small village, and two girls had parked their car next to his Model 3. In the evening, they were drunk and came out to put clothes in their car. They tried to open his car door to set off the alarm. The alarm didn't go off, so they decided to jump on the front of his car instead. That worked, and the alarm started to blare. Quentin received a notification on his phone that sentry mode had been activated. When he came to check on the car, he didn't find any damage. When he got home, he watched the videos and saw everything that happened. Luckily, on his drive home, the Tesla cam had filmed the license plate number of their car, so he was able to find the owner and contacted her. When he reached the girl on the phone, she started crying. She said she didn't know about sentry mode and was sorry. The two girls were terrified they would be charged for damage to the frunk, but Tesla couldn't find anything wrong, and they were let off the hook. Vince was driving south on the Las Vegas Strip in Nevada when a Chevy Chevelle SS pulled up next to his Model 3 performance. The girl in the passenger seat pulled out her phone and started recording. Vince figured out that they wanted to race, and he could also tell this wasn't a stock Chevelle. The aftermarket rear wheels and the obviously modified engine are both pretty good indicators that this is a true American muscle car. When the light turned green, Vince hit the juice pedal and showed off the true power of American electricity. Welcome to the future, Dominic Toretto. Vince adds that it almost seemed like the other driver would rather hit the car in front of him than lose to a Tesla in front of his girl. This submitter was out driving his Model 3 in Santa Clara, California, and when he got home he discovered a big dent on the trunk that he's sure wasn't there before. He started scrolling through the Tesla cam clips from his drive home, and that's when he found this video. The submitter was turning right at an intersection, and a pedestrian who was walking in the crosswalk behind him threw a rock at his trunk. A body shop told him that the entire trunk lid would need to be repainted. Harold and Jolene were supercharging their new Model 3 for the first time after taking delivery of it the day before. That's when an eccentric Model Y owner came up to the side of their car and very insistently tried to sell them eco-friendly headlamps sold by a company he had started. Apparently they have a lot of features because the pitch went on for a while. His persistence had Harold and Jolene startled and they were honestly a little freaked out. Here we can see him posing in front of their headlights to show off their reflective surfaces. With their battery only half full and without the headlamps, Harold and Jolene took off as soon as the encounter was over. Chris had parked his Model 3 on the street overnight at a friend's house in downtown Vancouver. Some guy came walking along and kicked the passenger mirror right off his car. Sentry mode activated the car alarm as well as the loud rock music. This sent Mr. Macho Man running. Chris called the police, but they told him they didn't want the footage and that they didn't think it would be any help. He never heard back from them after that. Chris got the mirror repaired through his insurance and is back on the road. John had his Model 3 performance parked at work when this man decided to unfold his mirror to check out whatever was under his mask. We honestly wonder what he found. John adds, it was not only irritating that somebody messed with his car, but it's made more irritating by the fact that there were other cars with bigger and unfolded mirrors parked right next to his. Nick was driving his Model S on I-405 in Los Angeles, California, when a Chevy Malibu went flying across several lanes, almost hitting a Nissan Versa. 
This startled the driver of the Nissan, who reacted by swerving into the Toyota Camry in front of Nick, causing them to lose their side view mirror. Then they just kept on driving like nothing happened. Nick contacted the California Highway Patrol, but they couldn't investigate anything because no license plate numbers were visible in the video. Benjamin was driving his Tesla in Burlingame, California. Watch what happened as he approached a traffic light that was about to turn green. As he entered the intersection, he saw a vehicle on his left that was running the red light. Slamming on his brakes, he made a hard right followed by a hard left to return to his lane and avoid hitting the traffic light. Benjamin says the tires were screaming. The driver of the white van on his left approached him afterwards and praised him for avoiding an accident without any damage done to any vehicles. Benjamin says he credits safety driving lessons at Sonoma Raceway, and he recommends them to anyone who can afford them. Just days after Brian got his Model 3, he was shopping at Walmart in Clear Lake, California. When he came back to his car, he found this funny clip waiting for him. In his small town, it's rare to see a Tesla, which is probably why this kid was so interested. Even though the Tesla laser spooked him a little, he still showed his approval for the car. Brian wishes he would have been there when this happened, as he would have been happy to let them check out the interior as well. Preston was approaching a four-way stop with autopilot engaged when he noticed an SUV moving very fast as if they might run the stop sign. Autopilot stopped the car at the stop sign and Preston gave Autopilot a confirmation to proceed when it looked like the SUV was slowing down. Moments later, he looked to the right and saw the car's front bumper right next to his car. Preston was shocked they didn't actually make contact. Autopilot didn't react or give any warnings. Jim was driving his Model 3 on I-95 outside of Baltimore, Maryland when the car in front of him hit some debris on the road which flew up and hit Jim's bumper and hood. Here's a photo of the damage. Luckily, Jim says he managed to get it all off with some wet sanding and polish. Phew! This next video from George, who was driving his Model 3 in Queens, New York, shows another example of debris on the road. A pickup truck had some cargo in the bed that wasn't properly secured. Objects went flying out of the bed and George had to avoid the airborne hazards. George must be an avid Mario Kart player as he was easily able to dodge that debris. Back in May of 2020, the Navy Blue Angels and the Air Force Thunderbirds teamed up to fly over hospitals to salute the frontline COVID-19 responders. This submitter managed to catch the flying fighters on Tesla Cam, complete with smoke trails. This other plane spotting video is from Orlando, Florida. The submitter captured two fighter jets flying across I-495 toward Cape Cod. So far, we've seen rockets, meteors, and fighter jets spotted on Tesla Cam. We can't wait to see what other airborne oddities we can find for a future game of Tesla Cam Bingo. Speaking of bingo, we have a little game of cop car bingo for you. First up is this video from Angel, who was driving behind a police car in Oakland's Chinatown. All of a sudden, an SUV ran a red light and almost got T-boned by the cop car. The cop paused for a second, but ultimately let the SUV go. Angel thinks the cops must have had more important things to deal with. We actually have a different theory. This clip is also from Angel and shows a similar incident in California involving another cop car. This time, the cop car is the one cutting someone else off as he exits an in and out parking lot. The other driver had to slam on their brakes to avoid hitting the police car. Here's our theory. Do you recognize the driving style of this driver? Remember the SUV driver pulling straight out into traffic and forcing others to brake? What if the driver of the black SUV from earlier is the same cop from this video? That would explain why the police let him go. Oh, it's just Bob again. Are we onto something here or should we take off our tinfoil hats? Leave a comment and tell us what you think.
This emitter was driving his Model 3 in Reykjavik, Iceland when he noticed a police car about to pass him with lights and sirens. Suddenly, a car came out of a gas station seemingly out of nowhere and completely cut the police off. The cop quickly reacted and fortunately there was no crash and nobody was hurt. The driver of the other car was a senior citizen. The submitter said he seemed oblivious to what he had just done. James was driving home from work early in the morning, traveling east on Route 66. This road has two lanes which eventually merge into one lane with a speed limit of 45 miles per hour. James says it's not unusual for people to speed like crazy to get in front of other traffic before the merge. When he saw headlights racing up in his rearview mirror, he started watching to see what would happen. As they got closer to the merge, a Cadillac SUV and a Ford SUV both zoomed in front of him. That's when the Ford activated emergency lighting, revealing itself as a state police car. The car stopped and James could hear the officer say over the loudspeaker, it's 45, not 70, slow down. James guesses that he didn't get out to give the other driver a ticket because it was 24 degrees Fahrenheit outside. The cop car then drove off. Winter is indeed a magical time of year. Hey guys, if you can see that red subscribe button, that means you're not subscribed to the Wham Bam channel yet. It would mean the world to us if you would do that, so please hit that subscribe button. Thanks. Oh Lord, won't you buy me a cyber truck? My friends I'll drive diesel, I must make amends.